Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be teaching you basically how to get seaweed spores and be able to farm seaweed in RuneScape. So a lot of people don't know the process because it's new content on RuneScape, and people aren't too familiar with the stuff on Fossil Island. So I thought I would give it a go and uh, help you all out and get you started because this giant seaweed that you farm is number one for basically getting the farming pet. It's a 1 in 7,000 chance, which is the best rate in the game besides magics. And you can do this seaweed much faster. Um, also the giant seaweed, one giant seaweed counts for six soda ash, which is phenomenal. Now, first thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the flippers. But first, before we get into that, let's start talking about the requirements. First, it's you have must finish the quest Bone Voyage. And you also need to complete the Pirate Pete's section of Recipe for Disaster. So basically, it's freeing Pirate Pete and it requires 42 crafting for Iron Man and also 31 cooking. And that's how you'll get your diving gear and everything like that. I also highly suggest getting a Brine Saber. If you don't know what that is, basically from Slayer Task, if you kill brine rats, there's a 1 in 512 chance of getting one. I have a few in my bank from lower level Slayer and I've just kept it because I always knew that they were to come out with underwater content, which is super cool in my opinion. Okay, so those are the two requirements that I can think of. Another thing probably is your farming level. I did not even think of that. Yo, let's think about this here. Giant seaweed is 23, so it's pretty low. And you need to pay Numulites in order to protect them, 200 for each patch. You get Numulites a lot of the times from around Fossil Island doing various activities such as herbivore, killing the fossil wyverns, killing uh, even like what am I thinking? Also doing um, bird ones, doing the mini game that I'm about to show you. There are a variety of ways. So, and usually you have too much of them. So, okay, here we go. So first, in order to get the flippers, you're going to have to go ahead and trade a Slayer Master and buy a couple fishing explosives. Um, I would buy 100. It took me roughly about 80 to get the flippers. And then you want to go ahead and take the fairy ring to AIQ. Now, if you don't have the fairy ring, and you don't have access to that, the next best thing is to teleport to Remington. So let me see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, everything is so slow, I apologize. So let's look at Remington. Remington. Did I spell that wrong? Okay, I really stink at this. I'm just going to like manually do this. Okay, Port Sam, Remington is right here, which apparently is not on the map, which is why it didn't pop up. You're gonna run south. It's south, uh, south the skeletal wyverns up here, and this is that AIQ teleport. So basically, you're gonna go from Remington south past the fossil wyvern cave entrance down to here, and you can also go from Draenor, whatever you like, and it's gonna be in that location. But the fastest way is by ferrying. It's gonna be AIQ. Now you will need a Draymond staff. I had the elite uh, diary done for Lumbridge, so. Um, yeah, that's not popped up. Now, I believe there is a Slayer requirement for these guys. It's 32, so it's quite low, but you will need 32 Slayer to kill these. You're going to use a fishing explosive, and you're going to use it on the little om Omnius fishing spot, and then you kill them. They're level 60, so um, I would come in full gear because you kill them faster and everything like that. There also is a stash area for easy clue, I guess you could fill up. But yeah, these guys drop the flippers. It's a 1 in 64 chance. Now, once you get your flippers, uh, watch the video for the next step. I'm going to get y'all familiar with the location on Fossil Island and how to get seaweed spores. Now, I won't be showing this in the guide, but one way to get seaweed spored is spores is to kill fossil wyverns, and they will go ahead and drop some seaweed spores. I think it's an uncommon drop, but you would be surprised how many you get. Just make sure you do those slayer tasks because they drop seaweed spores, and you know, why not, you know? Uh, let me go ahead and drop these fishing explosives. But, so basically you want to get that dig site pendant. If you've never, you should have been to Fossil Island at least once during the quest. But um, if you haven't, uh, basically take your dig site pendant and you're going to want to go to Fossil Island teleport. If you haven't unlocked the house on the hill, basically when you get up here you want to use your dig site pendant on this strange machine. And the house on the hill is located just north of the campsite. So, all right, so follow my character to go where next. I'll be showing you. The best way, though, is to teleport to the mushroom meadow. If you haven't unlocked that teleport with the mushrooms, it's over here. Uh, basically, 
right here, this transportation, you just touch that mushroom and you unlock it. So we're going to go ahead and go th to the mushroom meadow. It's the fastest way that I know to get to that diving area. Okay, so once you're in the mushroom meadow, you're going to run uh, west, I believe. East. Yes, east. Sorry. So northeast. And there's going to be this boat up here. Make sure you're careful with the crabs. Okay, so you're going to travel on this rowboat. I know it looks really mysterious, and it's going to be the third option, row out to sea. Okay, so once you're here, uh, there's going to be a bank chest, which is really nice. And first, I'm going to show you how to get the seaweed spores. So the first thing I recommend is getting a stamina and super energy and go ahead and get some food, especially if you're a lower level, because the first way you can get these seaweed spores is by killing lobstrosities. They drop them um, if you don't do fossil wyvern tasks. You can get them from there. You can also get them from the mini game that I will show you, which I am not very good at, and I'm just going to do a really quick kind of overview explanation. But basically, 20 mermaid tears can be traded in for one seaweed spore. I don't think it's the fastest way, but if you prefer it that way to get some agility and thieving, it's a great way. Now, you don't need your diving apparatus helmet and I'll show you why. So when you go to the boat, you want to go dive and you're going to be diving out to sea. Um, so they are telling you that you need to get rid of anything in your hands so you can swim. And they want you to bring that helmet, but we're going to say no because the location we're going to does you doesn't allow you to have the helmet. So right here you can see my seaweed. It's all nice and good. This is where the patches are. But we're going to go ahead and ignore this right now. I'll explain this later. We're just going to go ahead and start swimming to the east. Okay, so northeast. And this is where you're not allowed to have your helmet, guys. So you're allowed to have your helmet, have 100% breathing back there. But go ahead and get one of these breathing pools, and it'll bring your oxygen level back to 100%. Now here is where you can trade this type of mermaid chick. And basically, you can get uh, fossils, and you can get this is where you can get those seaweed spores. So that's where you trade the 20 mermaid tears for the seaweed spores. Uh, and it's cool, you can get fossils there too, and you can also put the training towards agility or thieving agility, etc. But um, I'm not going to go over that mini game, but basically, uh, you can kind of see on my little mini map over here, it has an arrow where to go, and basically, you're going to loot the chest and the clams, and that's how you can get your mermaid tears. So basically, I'm just sitting here in this little oxygen pond, her 100% oxygen, all good. But follow my character to bring you to the lobstrosities. Yes, that's legit what they're called. But the only way you can kill these lobstrosities is by, with your fist, with a brine saber, or with, um, you know, mage spells. So you can just punch it, but I mean, brine saber hits a lot harder. And they do hit kind of hard, believe it or not. And also, um... Alright, so yeah, that's, I think that's it. You can also bring mage spells too. So we're going to enter this tunnel. This is also how you enter the mini game. Just go ahead and follow my character. We're going to go south. <clears throat> da, 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 da. This is how I kind of figured it out. Um, Alright, we're going to go through this little obstacle. Oh wait, look at this. The clam. Never mind. It had the arrow on the clam, so I was so excited. I was like, oh, we can show you some of that mini game. But yeah, basically, you loot that clam, it'll give you those mermaid tears for seaweed spores if you want to do it that method. Just continue to follow my character. We're going south, uh, east, going over here. And uh, this is where you carry these bubbles. It's like the current, it will, oops, wrong way. The current will move you around, so be kind of careful there. But see these chests and all that? Those are what you loot for the mini game. So we're going around everything. Be careful with the current. And see, these are the lobstrosities. They're in the uh, southeast corner. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter in here. There's also a breathing little thing here. So we can go ahead and sit in that portal to get some oxygen. And while we're doing that, I'm going to... You see how my character's punching it. You can also go ahead and use a mage spell like that. All good. And you can also put your brine saber on, but it's going to be a warning and say that you won't be able to swim with it on. You'll just be standing um, and you'll, you know, not being able to swim 
will make you move slower and such. But yeah, these lobstrosities uh, are an uncommon drop to drop between one and five seaweed spore. They're pretty good. Uh, I recommend checking that out. And they drop Numulite too. Not that many, but oh, there's a seaweed spore on the ground. Also, yeah, these seaweed spores actually spawn in random locations as well. So if you just kind of swim around, you'll see them spawn. So they're not too bad. But yeah, these lobstrosities are level 68. They can hit kind of hard with no armor on, but you know, like I said, those seaweed spores also spawn everywhere, so it's not that bad. Okay, and they drop seaweed, which is nice. No, it did seaweed. Anyway, so um, I'm going to go ahead and head back to that seaweed location and show you all how to, you know, pay for the seaweed and farm them. Then go to that northwest corner on Fossil Island. It's all the way at the top up here. You can take this transportation boat, and we are going to take that third um, section right here. All right, good stuff. All right, here we are. We're gonna use this bank chest, and this is where you do want to bring your diving fishbowl helmet because you won't have to have a little oxygen thing. They do let you in that first area. It's just when you enter the mini game that's where you can't have it. So you know stuff like that. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all how we can do the seaweed stuff. All right, we're gonna take out these seaweed spores. I got 19 of them. Take out some super compost and uh, all that good stuff. Um, what else am I missing here? You always should bring an emergency teleport, I say, with everything, especially if you're a hardcore Iron Man. Let's go ahead and take off that Brian Saber because we won't be attacking anything. You don't want anything on your hands, guys. But basically, this seaweed is great. It, like I said, counts for six soda ash and all that good stuff. And to be effective, I'm going to show you something that you can do as an Iron Man to save you a lot of time and also get some quick molten glass. So anyway, we're going to exchange right here and get all our supplies here. Boom, boom, boom. Shaka, laka, laka. You're going to have to rate these. This is your first time coming down here. Uh, you're also going to need Numulite to pay for your next seaweed spore thing. I forgot. And I'll be upstairs to grab some Numulite from the bank. But let's see how many seaweed I get from this. It's so good. Don't forget that this is six soda ash per seaweed, you know? So no worries with here. And, uh... I think it's definitely worth it. The seaweed grows every 35 minutes, so you can pretty much do it twice an hour, an hour, twice every hour and 10 minutes. So it's really great, guys. And you know, I just highly, I highly think this is worth doing. And I also think that agility and thieving thing is worth doing as well. It's some great XP per hour. But uh, yeah, I mean, do this twice an hour, and you're set for crafting for that molten glass. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the next batch here. I am wielding those sectars. I think, uh, I'm not sure if they actually help, but uh, they may help you get more um, seaweed like they do with herbs. But I'm not too sure. But yeah, it is a 1 in 7,000 for the pet here. Best rate by far. I think that's for each pick too, which is phenomenal. Um, don't judge me on that, but I think that is 1 in 7,000 for each pick, which is better than magic, magic, uh, trees pretty much on average in my opinion so it's pretty good so we're gonna see how many I get from here I think I'm gonna get a lot but I think it's a random each time but I think it can go up to 60 for each patch which is incredible but right now we're not even close with this one being done and uh, that's really good dang I was not expecting this to take so long guys I'm getting a lot of seaweed I'll come back when I get all my seaweed so for a total of that, I got 67 uh, seaweed, and if you times that by 6, that's 402 soda ash, which is incredible. I'm going to go ahead and pay for these patches, paying 200 Numulite each. You'd be surprised how fast Numulite goes with these uh, seaweed patches, really. But anyway, now I'm going to show you all something that I highly recommend, and basically it's having the Molten Glass spell from Lunar's Diplomacy, and that's going to allow you to do Super Glass Make. And it's super good. Basically, you're going to get more than what you expect. It's 77 magic, which I know is a big push, but guys, it's totally worth it. I'm going to show you how good this really is here. So let me go ahead and get this set up. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and do Super Glass Make Spell 77 and Lunar Diplomacy is a requirement. I highly recommend to do this, guys. It's so much faster than using a furnace. But basically, I'm going to get two giant seaweeds out and let's say like 10 buckets. Let's do... 12 buckets of sand, all right? Um, I don't have many that many buckets of sand in my bank to show you, but this is what I mean. I'm going to go to here, Super Glass Make, check it out. And actually, it usually makes more than that, um, 
more uh, gives you some extra molten glass usually which is super good highly recommend you getting that that's going to save your crafting grind by a ton guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe to my channel for some more guides and updates and videos i also have an iron woman progression on my channel which is really cool um thank you so much for watching guys and i hope this guide helped y'all out